Hey Funkaholics, it's Terry Wellbanks coming at you from the Dungeon of Funkos as always. Today I wanted to do a quick video of things that I've been able to pick up over the past couple of days um, from my local EB. I actually picked up one pop that I had to pay for, uh, sadly, from a comic book shop. Uh, but I have been getting a lot of pops lately, um, well not for free because I'm trading in a bunch of games over at my EB and uh, our EB here, it's called Electronic Boutique for anybody that didn't know and what that basically turns into in the States is what your GameStop is. GameStop actually owns EB or Electronic Boutique so they've got this trade program going on right now that if you have um, older games you can trade them in and they give you an extra bonus credits, things like that. I find that's a really cool way to get pops and it's very cost effective considering uh, how expensive this hobby is and I'm sure you all know that especially if you're just getting into it um, and you really fall in love with it you know you're spending a fortune so um, I picked up something completely new for me something that I don't have and I wanted to show you guys and get your guys thoughts on them I want to know if you collect them uh, how old like how far back do they go uh, have they been around a long time and what what would be your favorite figure uh, mine would be a Batman, but unfortunately, I don't think that they do Batman for this because this is specific. Um, but the thing that I want to show you guys is Marvel Legends. Um, Marvel Legends characters, these are not cheap. Um, this would have been about $29.99 plus tax. I have no idea what it goes for online. I, I The only reason why I got it is because like I'm a huge fan of Deadpool, and the detail on this thing is insane. Um, his facial expression, like the extra face that's included, the punching gun. There's so many cool things with this. And these, these characters, all of them, are so, so detailed. And I found out today that if you actually purchase every single one of these and you take them out of the box, you're going to be able to build Juggernaut. I think that that's a really, really good marketing ploy for them, and it's definitely a way for people to get hooked in on these things. Um, again, this figure, the box, the packaging, the detail on him from his abs to his face to his gun to the taco, uh, it's a really, really amazing character. And I don't know how long these have been out. I don't know how, how much goes into them, um, but I do know that they're not cheap, so... Uh, let me know if you guys collect these and what you think, especially of this guy. Um, I, I love him, and I think that he's he's done extremely, extremely well. And I'm going to assume that all of these characters are built the same with the same high-end quality and things like that. So those are the Marvel Legends. This is the series of, well, there's Deadpool, like I said. There's Iceman. There's Kitty Pride, Wolverine. There's Marvel's Havoc, Marvel's Rogue. There's Marvel's Phoenix, um, Cable, and Deadpool. And then if you get all those, you can build Juggernaut. So really, really awesome. Uh, let me know what you guys think. If you collect them, um, how many you have, uh, if you're broke or not by collecting them, I definitely would like to know. So um, next up, I want to show you guys one that I picked up. I do not play the game. I do not know anything about the game, but I know that this character is one cool looking dude. This is Reaper from Overwatch. Uh, Gather Overwatch is a video game. Again, don't shoot the messenger. I really don't know anything about the game, but I know that this pop himself... He looks really, really well done. He's holding the two guns. And I like the way that his face looks. I like the hood. All the detail on this one is good. I also believe that I got the uh, ECCC Farah um, a while back. That's from the same game, I assume. So, Next up is one that I'm extremely excited for. And I wish that they would do variants of him. And I'm hoping that they will with blood and things like that. But this is Blade. Uh, if you guys don't know who Blade is, Blade is a vampire. Half vampire, half human. Um, he takes serum and his movies are incredible. Even the one with Ryan Reynolds uh, was really good. That's actually one of my favorite ones, Blade Trinity. So the only one I didn't really like was the second one. But this is, in the movies, he's played by Wesley Snipes. Incredibly well done pop. Great detail on him. Looks exactly like Blade. I uh, could not be happier with the end result on this pop. It's a PX, uh, PX exclusive, I apologize. PX exclusive pop. Um, so I think comic book shops get a crack at him first, and that's why I had to go get him at the comic book shop and not like a local big box retailer, which I like doing anyways. I'd rather support them than support, you know, the bigger names. So now getting into the set that I was talking about, um, this is probably, I would say, one of my most anticipated sets ever since I even started hearing about Funkos. I really, really hope that they're going to do a wave two for this. Uh, it It's a... It's a very, very well detailed set. They, there's an opportunity to make a ton of characters. Um, I'm really hoping that they go out of their way to make a set uh, for this one, or at least a Wave 2, because Wave 1 looks incredible. So the set that I'm talking about is Space Jam. 
and I was able to pick up a few of the Space Jams today. I have not completed the set. I do not have Swack Hammer, and I don't have M3, which is the uh, Blue Monstar. If anybody's familiar with basketball, he was Sean Bradley's character. And if you don't know who Sean Bradley is, he's this gigantic guy that used to play basketball for the Clippers. And I think the Wizards? I'm not sure. Maybe it was the Bullets back then. But this is Marvin the Martian. Uh, he played referee in the game. So when the uh, Monstars played the Toon Squad, this pop is extremely well done. I like, I like this pop in comparison to the regular Marvin the Martian that I have. Uh, I like the coloring on his helmet. I like his mohawk there. And the fact that he's got the whistle in his mouth is pretty darn cool. So uh, I love this movie. This is one of my all-time favorite movies. It still is to this day. I'm so stoked that they made this. And I really hope that they can do a wave too. Because there's Lola, Yosemite Sam, uh, Sylvester the Cat, Tweety Bird, uh, the other monsters that they haven't done. Because there are more monsters that need to be done. There's Muggsy Bogues' character. There's Charles Barkley's character. Patrick Ewing's character. Larry Johnson's character. And, of course, they got Sean Bradley. So, there's Marvin. The box detail is incredibly well done, as you can see. And on the back, there's the first wave. So, there's Taz, Bugs, uh, Swackhammer, M3, and there's also Marvin. So, amazing pop. If you guys get a chance to pick up this set, I'm imploring you, please do. Next up is the one and only Bugs Bunny. Bugs Bunny is probably the most popular character, and I can understand why they do him. I really wish that they could get a license to, um, to use Michael Jordan's likeness, because I think for a Chase character, he would have been amazing. Picture him in, like his, uh, in his golf outfit when he gets sucked down in the rabbit hole. Uh, or, or even if they wanted to do him in just his Toon Squad uniform with those, with those wicked Space Jam 11 uh, shoes. I really think that he would have been cool as a chase, but there's Bugs there holding his ball. Again, box art's really well done. There's a set there. Uh, this is a really, really good pop, and all these characters are so amazing in Looney Tunes and Toon Squad form for sure, so it's pretty cool. Next up, I have... Probably my favorite of all the the Looney Tunes characters. This is Taz. Taz holding his ball. If you guys saw the movie, he went a little insane in it. Um, he's always spinning around and causing a fuss, and Taz is just the man. So, uh, again, really, really good detail. Now, I want you guys to pay attention to the mouth and the eyes and the face and just the overall body, as you can see. So, that's the regular Taz. And then I completely lucked out, and I got... The chase version of Chaz as well. Chaz. Taz. Um, so on this version versus the regular version, you can see one of them has the mouth closed. This mouth is wide open. The chase is incredibly well done. Um, I like the way it looks. So there's the mouth closed versus open. Holding the same ball. It's basically the same character. And that's, and I mean, like, I love that. Like, if I had to pick, obviously, I'd pick the chase 10 times out of 10. But I would get both of them because it's Taz, and I love Taz. That's why I'm saying that I think something completely different for a chase, like a character that isn't even a variant, um, something that would have been a little bit harder to find, I think would have been really cool, like a Michael Jordan, right? Or even if they did a Lola Bunny or they did um, the, uh, Yosemite Sam, I would love a pop of Yosemite Sam. Um, th there's so many great characters in the Looney Tunes, uh, it, it, like Porky Pig. Daffy Duck. There's so many. Bill Murray they could do. There's so many great characters that, that they could do for this set. And I'm really hoping that it sells well enough that they do a wave two. Because there is a lot of sets that have been released that unfortunately they've only done one wave. Because I'm guessing that it didn't sell as well as it was supposed to. Uh, for instance, The Hateful Eight. That one didn't sell overly well, I'm guessing. Because I only we only ended up getting the actual four characters. And there's so many great characters in that movie. Um, I, I would have loved to see the Joe Gage and things like that. But sadly, I, I just I don't think there was enough interest in them. So that's the issue with the sets. And that's why I'm hoping with the chases, like I said, at least with the Star-Lord chase, even though they made a Toys R Us exclusive that was pretty much exactly the same, um, these two here, you can see a visible difference, which is really cool, and I like that. Uh, same thing with the Remy one from Ratatouille. That one's flocked as, as a chase, which is normally a normally just a store exclusive thing. So I, I don't know if they're getting lazy with their chases or what it is that they're doing, but um, they're definitely not as like the Taz one's cool and the Ratatouille one. Every chase is cool, obviously, and and, and if you like getting chases, then you know you're gonna want it no matter what. Um, but for sets wise, I just wish that when they make a chase variant, they would make it a character that 
is not in the general set. Um, kind of like they did with the uh, Suicide Squad box where they did Enchantress for the, uh, for the DC Legion of Collectors, I think. Um, that was a great idea because it's a completely different character and, and it brings a little bit more to your set, right? It makes it a little bit harder for you to get. Um, it makes it harder for you to complete the set, which makes complete sense. So um, set-wise, I mean, for myself, Space Jam was a really, really big one for me. Another one that I would die to see would be Dexter. I think you could do a lot of good characters in there um, between Dexter and Deb and, you know, uh, there, there's so many, there's Batista, um, Surprise, Mother, you know, you can get Dokes. There, there's so many great characters that, that you could do. I'd love to see them expand on any horror ones. Like, there's so many horror movies that, that I don't think that we have pops for yet. Um, I'm really hoping that I can see at some point a Rings uh, pop. I'd like to see the rings set. Um, I'd like to see different types because there's been remakes of every horror movie. So I'd like to see the remake version of Freddy. I'd like to see the remake version of Jason. I, you know, I mean, although I have the ultimate Jason from from my buddy Jim at, at Case Custom, I mean, he's made the one that I'll never need another Jason in my life because of uh, because of him. But um, and and I mean, in sets wise, it's so difficult because you have to really. Dis I guess Funko has to decide whether or not there's going to be enough interest from us, the pop community. And when they make some of the decisions, I'm kind of baffled. Like, I don't think that they needed to make 75 different variants of that Fallout guy. Uh, mind you, I don't play Fallout. I'm not really a big video game guy, if you guys can tell. But they they decided to make, like, a glow-in-the-dark, a super one, a health one, this, that, this, that, this, that, when they could have invested that time and money in making molds for... You know, a little bit more obscure shows because they can make sure on a little Tokyo Pops, but I would really love to see them make a Sopranos or I'd love to see them make a Dexter or um, uh, the, the Wire. Like, there's so many great shows out there that I think that they could do. And they can also expand a lot on their Disney ones too. They could, they could go as far to, you know, make an Aladdin, right? I mean, make, uh, make an Apu. Like, it's not, it's not all that tough to, to, I can't imagine it being impossible, especially if they're, if they're going out of their way to make, like, Tomorrowland. Uh, they made a full line for Tomorrowland. Jupiter Ascending, it's got to be a hot ticket for sure, right? So, in terms of sets, I mean, I'd like to see a Mike Tyson's Punch-Out set. I'd love to see a Mike Tyson pop. How cool would that be, right? Um, but there's, there's a lot out there. There's a lot, there's a lot of different pops that I think that they can make and that they can expand on. What are your guys' thoughts and girls' thoughts on, on what sets you would like to see that you haven't seen yet? Be it a cartoon or just something that you grew up on, now, you know, Smurfs, uh, Fraggle Rock, things like that. I'd love to be able to see, uh, your ideas and what you guys think would make great sets. So... That's the start of my Space Jam set. When I complete it, I'll do another video. I'm expecting a couple of boxes this week, and I actually have a surprise coming in that I'm going to pick up tomorrow. Um, and I'm really, like, I'm really excited to do a video for that guy. So I, uh, I'm going to upload another one tomorrow. If you guys can think of any topics that you want me to talk about and that we can discuss in the comments, please bring that up so I would, uh, so I can talk about your ideas and, and what you guys actually want to hear. Um, I can't thank everybody enough for taking time to watch the videos. Um, subscribe to the channel. I, it's mind-blowing that, that each and every one of you guys do that, uh, and girls. Uh, it, I, it really means a lot to me, and the fact that you take any interest in my videos blows me away. So thank you so much, and again, I appreciate you guys. If you can hit the like button, you can hit the sub button, um, you can share the video, you can, you can let people know about it, that'd be great. If you dislike the video, as always, please just leave me a comment to let me know as to what I can do to make it better for you. I know that I'm not good at editing and I know I ramble, so that's probably a big reason why and I apologize that I do, but I got a lot to get out and I don't want to flood everybody's um, flood everybody's timelines on YouTube with just my stupid face. So thank you guys so much again. Um, please treat each other well. Check out Jim at Kay's Customs. Please check out some of the Facebook groups that are out there. There's um, Funkoholics Anonymous Worldwide, which is the group that I'm part of. I'm part of a lot of groups. Uh, Windsor Funko and Friends. There's Pop, uh, Pop Community UK, Pop Society USA, Funko Canadian Alliance, Funko BST Canada. Um, check them out. You can follow me on Twitter and uh, at Terry Wellbanks. And if you, again, if you guys can take time to subscribe and like the video, that's amazing. And I really, really do appreciate it. So... Thank you guys. Please be good to each other. Much love and we'll talk soon.